Okay, so I, you will have this as a recording uh, to watch. Okay, I'm going to zoom out so you can see uh, both of these at the same time, okay? All right, how can I simplify this to make this easier? So one of the first things is breaking this into very simple forms. So the first thing I'm going to start is just break it into a simple circle, okay? Um, I could use this simple circle uh, for this bunny's head, okay? Uh, one of the th other things is, is just try to use the full page. Tr try not to be this little teeny bunny that, that is, is that size. Try to use that full page so you're using your arm. It will be easier. The next thing is I want to break all this in to another simple shape. Just turn that circle on its side. There we go. Okay. Uh, can everyone see that okay? You cannot see that. You'll see the other drawing. Okay, my apologies. That that was disastrous. Okay, there we go. How about that? Yes. All right, let's start over. <laughs> All right, so. Um, okay, so first the first thing I recommend is try not to draw things like really small. If you see, if I'm trying to draw this small of a bunny, I it, it's going to be a really hard time to draw that. Okay, try to use your full page. Okay. I'm going to start by just making a simple shape for the, for the head of the bunny, okay? Uh, it, you don't have to draw a perfect circle, just uh, scribble that out, okay? Uh, you're welcome to follow along if, if you can, okay? The next thing is I need something for this, this thing. Now when, when you have your packet, you could just be tracing this if that made sense. You could just do a large circle and, and another large circle, okay? Uh, you can use those packets, but I'm going to do another shape for, for that body, just something like that. Okay, I'll, I'll put this right in that picture plane. Um, I can now come in and say, okay, I need this to kind of sit somewhere down here. So I'm going to do another little shape that kind of goes like that. Okay, that's where its feet are going to go. I could say that it's got a little uh, uh, tail here. Okay. okay, another little simple shape. Okay, I know it's facing forward. I'm just going to do a little line that says that's the direction it's facing. Okay. I know it's got these ears up here. Okay, so I'm going to do two other little simple shapes. Two other little simple shapes. Okay. Now you can tell what it is. Okay. You can tell what it is. Okay. You can tell that that's a cute little bunny. Okay. I have this nose here and so I'm just going to go I'm going to go like that okay essentially it's another circle okay um, I could put in two circles here one for its eyes left right eye one for its left eye okay okay this would be fine for many students at this point um, if you practice just breaking animals into this this would be awesome you don't need to go any further than this okay there are students that will want to push this, and so I'm going to push this just a little bit further. Okay, I'll come back in and say it's got little insides of the ears. Okay, it has a little bunny nose. Okay, it has uh, it has a middle part that comes down. It just goes left and right. Okay, uh, it has uh, little cheekbones that go like this. Okay, there we go. Uh, it has two little teeth come down like a bunny, okay? Um, I could turn this to be on its side. I do a line like that. Okay, I'm going to take the bottom feet. Again, this, uh, this, not every student needs to push that animal drawing this far. Just leaving it in those simple shapes. Again, some students just tracing the, the bunny uh, will be fine. Some students... Just coloring in that sheet uh, would be fine. It will give them the idea of what that shape is, okay? Um, so back to just finish this off just a little bit further. I'm going to go ahead and put those legs on. Left leg, right leg, okay? I'll put the, the paws in. I'll give my brain something to tell me where those paws go. Something like that, okay? And then I'm going to put finish the legs off. Goes like this. Comes out like this. One, two, three, okay? Okay. That comes back like this. Okay, this little bunny tail is broken up. Okay, this body kind of comes in like this. Okay, this chest is kind of out like that. These little hands kind of come down like this. 
Okay, and again, uh, I'm not expecting you to be able to go this fast, and I'm not expecting every student to be able to do this. Uh, whatever, uh, whatever makes sense for the student, uh, uh, that that is fine. It's, it's trying to draw an animal, and then there I finish off the the back paw. It sits right like that. Okay, um, I could add all those little details, uh, but at this point, I'm just going to put the little eyeballs in. Shade this in a little bit. Shade this in a little bit. Okay. And I'll call that one. Uh, well, I'll, I'll change the head just a little bit. Change the head a little bit. And there we go. We have a finished bunny, okay? Um, so, again, that that is way more than uh, than I'm expecting students to be able to do, okay? But that is how, how you could draw an animal from simple shapes, okay?